Hello everyone, Josh here with Dygetic Audio and today we're looking at the dynamics and dynamics processing effects in Adobe Audition and how to use them to quickly master audio. Starting with dynamics processing, we have areas that are either expanders or compressors depending on where the line is. The expander can be thought of as a gate, just softer, and the compressor can be, well, thought of as a compressor. By moving the dots on the line, you can manipulate both the expander and the compressor. By dragging the line along the bottom, you create a gate. And by dragging the line across the side, you create a limiter. The knee in the middle can be thought of as your compressor. If you need something a little softer, you can always apply spline curves at the bottom. Here's the audio with no dynamics processing, Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dagetic Audio Project. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Presonus Eris E3.5. And here's the audio with Dynamics Processing. Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dagetic Audio Project. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Presonus Eris E3.5. Now that you understand the Dynamics Processing effect, let's talk application. I use Dynamics Processing when editing speech audio for everything from podcasts to interviews. The effect makes it very easy to get level clean audio without using four effects independently. But the main use that I've found for it is when you have a talking head with music behind the speaker, you can use a side chain to program the music to automatically reduce in volume when the speaker talks. While Dynamics Processing uses a chart and a visual to let you manipulate the effect settings, Dynamics actually has four built-in effects that you manipulate the settings of. A gate, a compressor, an expander, and a limiter. Once you've found your desired settings for these four effects, increase the gain on the makeup knob until the red indicator on the limiter blinks. Back off slightly to get the most volume out of your audio file. Here's the original audio. Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dagetic Audio Project. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Presonus Eris E3.5. And, and here's the audio after we apply the Dynamics effect. Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dagetic Audio Project. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Presonus Eris E3.5. By simply adjusting the settings on these four effects, you can easily give your audio a clean, crisp sound. I will use dynamics when editing speech audio files that I need more control that I don't get from just dynamics processing. The effect makes it very easy to get clean level audio without applying four independent effects. Dynamics and dynamics processing are amazingly powerful tools, but without good gear, you'll never unlock their full potential. Check out this video where I go over my audio rig that I take with me everywhere and look at this playlist to see every effect in Adobe Audition and how to use them.